Ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome here to the first um, press conference of the first semi-final at this year's EHF Final for Men. Um, the match was played between Telekom Vesprim and Lomza Viva Kielce and ended with a result of 37-35 in favour of Kielce. Here at the press conference with me are from Kielce, head coach Talan Dushibayev, um, as well as uh, Dani Dushibayev. And um, here on my right side, the head coach of Telekom Vesprim, Mumu Ilic and Manuel Strelik. First question goes uh, to Talant. Talant, um, at the end of the first half, I think you were visibly dissatisfied with the, the performance. Uh, what did you tell your team for the second half and what, what changed from your point of view? Okay, the most important is the result after the 60 minutes, of course. And in the first half, I think we wasn't uh, uh, so bad. Only uh, I, I, uh, when I remember good uh, Dylan Nahi two times from left back, no make goal, and uh, Vlad Kulish in slayer stores, no goal. In, there was uh, the difference. And after, uh, after in the first half, uh, our goalkeepers make uh, five saves and uh, goalkeepers from uh, West Brom eight. It is was uh, the biggest difference. And after that, in the second half, at the beginning, Andreas Wolf started with very good saves. He helped us, he gave us a uh, possibility uh, fighting to the end and uh, there was uh, the biggest uh, difference uh, I think everybody together and uh, a little bit better uh, uh, saves from uh, uh, Andy Wall. Thank you. Mumia, from, from your point of view, um, why was your team not able to, to keep the momentum which you've had in the, in the first half? <coughs> yeah, first of all, uh, congratulations for Akilce. For a final, uh, that was. Uh, I have to say also that was the second half very difficult to play with. Uh, we played the completely second half with uh, with the one less player, the five players. Some situation it's I cannot say because it was very difficult to to see from this side. But uh, that was uh, the key and decide this match. I can say also that uh, in any way we had a. Uh, Unlucky situation with uh, some some uh, missing uh, shots, some missing shots, and uh, and also losing both technical mistakes. Thank you, um, Danny. Um, Kielce came here to Cologne, uh, and I think on your um, on your social media channels you said one more time. Obviously, looking back to to 2016 after this performance, do you think you have made a tiny bit more than one step towards one more time? Okay, of course we are one step closer to to make our goals, to reach our objective, which was uh, win the Champions League. And uh, tomorrow we will need, uh, we will have another great fight like today against a top team. Uh, doesn't matter who wins the se second semi-finals, and we'll give our all and we will try to win again. Thank you, Manu. You've been quite a few times here to Cologne. What can you? With your experience, what can you tell your teammates to, to lift them up for tomorrow's match? Uh, it will be really nice. First, I want to congratulate the team of Kielce to go into the final. It's, it's not the same to be third or fourth. It's, we are finishing the season with last match, and of course, I want to win. All the guys want to win, and that we finish the season with victory. And it's always different to finish with the medal. And uh, I know it's hard. We, we lose today. It was a close match. We see our chances. We believe in our victory today before the game. We play really good handball, and but this is this is kind of this is final four, and we see in the past a uh, lot of amazing games, a lo lot of uh, surprises, a lot of uh, really good victories, and uh, this this because of these people love handball, and the, that's why it's always 20,000 people here, and. Uh, I just hope we, we can continue to work like this and came also next year and uh, and try to to take out this curse of West Ham, I will say. Thank you. Um, I would like to open this press conference up for questions. If there are questions, please uh, raise your hand and you will be handed a microphone. Yes, please. One question to Mumi Ilic. You mentioned uh, the fact that uh, your team had a lot of suspensions after the break. 
But was the red card against Blas Blagotinček, was this the, the key factor for the match? I, it's strange. I cannot say in this moment because I'm not sure what's happened this. And I didn't see, honestly, to be. But uh, immediately red card, maybe two minutes, was was enough for this. I don't know. I didn't see. That's why I, I cannot speak about this, this situation with David Blas Blagotinček. Thank you. Um, any additional questions? Yes, please. Yeah. To go further with the last question, uh, you, Blaz uh, uh was the leader of the defense, and you took uh, 37 goals. Uh, do you think there is a link between, or you you took 37 goals? And uh, Blas Blagotinček was your leader of the defense in the first half. Uh, do you think uh, his uh, absence uh, was a big problem for you in the second half? Yeah, we can say also that was the problem, but we changed after to 5-1 defense, which was also good. I mean, really satisfied how we played. Some situation where we, we tried to, to press kids in their kids' attack, a little bit long attack was. And, uh, but... As you said, that was a situation with, with Blaj a little bit uh, losing the quality of the 6-0. We would have time for one more question. There are none. Then I close this press conference. Look forward to seeing you again about two hours for press conference number two after semi-final number two.